네, 안녕하세요. TVCC 아나운서 서하경입니다. 오늘은 드랩의 공동 창시자 시알롱 수님과 그리고 다니엘님 함께 모시고 인터뷰 나누겠습니다. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. So can you introduce yourself and say hi to our viewers? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Xiaolong, co-founder of Drap Foundation, and uh, I was former lead developer of Quantum, and I also worked in Tencent and Microsoft. And uh, this is our uh, advisor, Dan. Uh, yes, uh, like you said, I'm the core gaming advisor for Drep. Uh, and uh, formerly I was the uh, COO for Riot Games China, the publisher of League of Legends, and uh, also another Tencent company. Uh, hello, <laughs> yeah. everyone. Cool, nice to meet you all. Yeah. So before we begin, um, as far as I know, the name Drep stands for something very meaningful. Can mm -hmm. you tell us what it ex exactly stands for? Yes. Uh, uh, you, we can see uh, DREP, D-R-E-P, we have four letters, right? And each letter uh, represents uh, one scientist. Mm -hmm. And for D, it represents uh, uh, Darwin. Darwin, uh, it means the evolution origin. And for, for R, it means Riemann. Riemann means the, the breakpoint. Break point. And for E, E uh, means Euler. Mm -hmm. Euler means the, the internal method. And for for P, it means uh, uh, the constant change. It means Planck. Planck. It's Planck. a name. Yeah, a scientist. So uh, we use for uh, for scientists to, uh, to 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 shout shout the name mm -hmm. means D R E P. I yes. see. Yeah. Interesting. So, what's the main strength of Drap? Like, what makes you so different from other companies? Yes, for uh, for Drap, uh, Drap. Um, how to say, Drap is a public chain, and uh, we aim to be the blockchain connector, and we have our own uh, toolkit. So we, we have our own uh, uh, underlying structure, uh, means our public chain, and we have our own uh, reputation protocol, and we have our own uh, uh, decentralized ID system, and the SDK based on the, 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 the whole stuff. So we have a lot of uh, solutions for the blockchain uh, uh, developers, that's uh, that's what we are doing, and uh, that's our strength, as you mean. I see. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, tell us about your team as well? Yes. Uh, uh, for for myself, I was uh, the I was a blockchain developer. Have been for three years, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, in my team we have about uh, twenty five full time employees, and uh, half of uh, more than half of them are developers, and most of them are. Uh, have the experience of uh, blockchain developing for more than two years. So we are very uh, a professional blockchain uh, uh, developed team. So we have a very strong uh, background in, in this field. Uh, and this makes us different with other uh, you know, blockchain company. And uh, for our PR side, we also have a very strong team. And uh, for, for example, our uh, CMO, he, uh, she is uh, the, the, the PR, uh, PR uh, for the um, Emirates airline and for the uh, Dubai uh, tourism, mm -hmm. yes. Mm, I see. So Daniel, uh, mm. you're actually COO of Riot China and you became the game advisor of Drab a month ago. Right. So please tell us why you decided to you know, mentor mm. this team. Sure, well I, uh, frankly I think that the gaming industry and the blockchain industry are, uh, it's poised for great growth, a lot of opportunity. And, um, you know, from the gaming side, you can see, uh, well, you know, Korea, kind of the heart of gaming and esports. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the the growth in the last five, ten years has been incredible, and I'm seeing that in the blockchain industry as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, when I was kind of looking around to uh, find a good fit or see where some of the opportunities can cross over. Um, you know, Drep uh, happened to have a former Tencent and, uh, gamer uh, uh, as, uh, as its uh, co-founder. And so I think that naturally uh, helped me um, become a little bit more attracted to uh, Drep specifically uh, because I also saw uh, a great uh, synergy between uh, both like the blockchain technology being applied into the gaming industry and varying different uh, facets of uh, you know games, esports, etc. I see. So what do you think Drap team should focus on to acquire massive adoption? 
Hmm. That's a good question. I, I think you can come at it in a bunch of different angles. Um, you know, if you go the esports method, there's uh, tons of ways you can engage with uh, esports viewers, uh, be able to track their engagement, who they're watching, what teams they're watching, how often they're watching, when they comment, when they like, when they donate, and and all these things uh, you know can be powered with uh, you know uh, uh, with, by DREP, um, you know, in an anonymized but also like. Uh, truth, truthful, uh, verifiable uh, manner. Um, and then, you know, I think there's other ways. If you want to talk about, like, uh, you know, just data, <laughs> storing right. data, there's tons and tons of, I mean, data in a game, you know, every single statistic, you can verify independently that this, this kill or this attack or this whatever action. Uh, personally, I think the, the loyalty aspect of being able to engage uh, your gamers um, and provide them reward systems or you know if they're uh, constantly playing their favorite champion with a favorite esports team skin or something or and always watching the esports maybe you can uh, mine this data to then reward them with more uh, content that they already like that you already know that they like um, so I think that provides some good uh, synergy and I think that's an area where it can drive a pretty quick adoption I see so how, from your perspective, how would you integrate blockchain technology into large-scale games like League of Legends in the future? <laughs> well, uh, you know, like I kind of just said, there's a bunch of different ways you can. Um, but in general, uh, you know, DREP and via the DREP SDK, uh, it just helps developers uh, scale much quicker, right? Yeah. Rather than having to bake everything from scratch every single time, uh, utilizing the DREP SDK uh, makes it a much more plug and play, quicker process. Um, but you know, outside of that, I, I think uh, how you integrate it into large scale games, uh, you find one particular pain point, uh, whether it's you know, uh, tracking what content I'm watching or verifying all my like, uh, statistic, game statistics or maybe even just making sure that my data is uh, truly anonymous and secure and that there's no possible leaks of you know my personal data or my game data uh, these are all different ways that uh, large game companies um, can start to uh, integrate blockchain technology uh, to provide additional value for our players mm -hmm. I see so Xiaolong is there any draft related event happening in the near future yes um, uh, actually tomorrow you know, uh, Thursday, uh, uh, we will have an IEO, mm -hmm. you know, uh, initial uh, exchange offering, uh, very popular now. Uh, we will have it on uh, Get.io, a very famous exchange over the world. And uh, uh, so, uh, two weeks ago, uh, Get.io, uh, get they issued their own uh, platform coin uh, named GT, and the GT grew up a lot. And uh, uh, today, uh, the first uh, uh, startup project uh, means uh, the IU projects have already go live, uh, go go uh, go live to to trading, and the price go up, the, the highest price go to uh, ten times. So uh, now there's the get uh, get the IO uh, attracts a lot of uh, of uh, users to to it, and uh, we will have a very we we'll have a, a lot of attention on us now, and uh, tomorrow we will have uh, IU uh, on on their platform. Uh, this is uh, the, the 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 nearest uh, uh, I mean I mean the event, and uh, then we will have uh, a lot of new uh, a lot of good news to 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 release to the public. And uh, uh, today uh, we are, we are in Korea, and uh, Korea is a very important market for us. So in Korea we will have a lot of corporations, and uh, uh, let's wait and see. And uh, I can say now and. Uh, uh, maybe next uh, next month we will have a, a, a big, big 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 action here. Mm, yes. Okay. Yeah. Big action like. Yeah. Like. Uh, is it a secret? <laughs> yeah, secret. Maybe exchange. Maybe uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe cooperation. Maybe game. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. We, our game advisor is here. Yeah. He a lot knew a lot of uh, game companies in Korea. Yeah. Yes. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah. Let's see what will happen. <laughs> And I also heard that you have launched Testnet to Rimen. Could you explain it in detail? Yes, uh, Rimen. Uh, yes, we we have uh, DREP, right? We we have four scientists, and yeah, so we have four uh, Testnet. Uh, our first Testnet is uh, named Darwin, and the t second Testnet is named 
uh, Rayman. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rayman is released in uh, last uh, in in March. In March, so um, in Rayman we, uh, we 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 have a lot of good features. I want to uh, uh, I want to address is uh, the smart pipeline. Uh, we know blockchain. We have uh, like Ethereum. We have a smart contract. Smart contract is very useful, and uh, it makes Ethereum uh, uh, outstanding uh, from the, a lot of uh, altcoins from uh, from Bitcoin, uh, Litecoin. You know, at that time, uh, but smart contract have a lot of problems. We, we can see and uh, the, the 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 capability and the the, the storage problem and the uh, the gas fee is very high, uh, and it cannot be easily updated. So it's not very uh, develop friendly. Actually, it's not very friendly for the developers or the uh, applications. So uh, I was a game developer uh, in, in Tencent, uh, in Timmy Studio, and uh, so I know a lot of uh, I, I know the, the developers what they want, mm -hmm. and uh, I know blockchain. I have been in quantum and uh, have my, I have been in blockchain. Uh, uh, blockchain world for more than three years. So uh, when I design smart pipeline, I think we should make it very easy for the developers. Mm -hmm. So we put the smart pipeline into different transaction. After each transaction, we based on the transaction type to to judge. Uh, we can we, we can choose one pipeline to do the the special actions in, into it. So it's like a it's kind of like a layer two solution. It's different with uh, smart contract. We, in our system, we have smart contract and we have smart pipeline. Mm -hmm. And smart pipeline is uh, 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 is uh, can 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 support smart contract, mm -hmm. and it can make the it can do a lot of transaction in a batch. You know, so we, we don't need to to uh, everybody is talking about TPS transaction per second. So uh, we, we don't. Uh, for example, we we want to count one hundred person. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and before. You, you should maybe 100 transactions, mm -hmm. but now in smart pipeline we can do it in a batch. Oh, so we don't we don't need to improve a lot of the, the transaction processing uh, ability. Mm. We we put it into together mm, one yes. transaction. Yeah, the the, the the TPS is one, but it can do more. I see. Yeah, you know. So it makes it efficient. Yeah, um, yeah. This is technical side. Mm, I see. Yes. And so then we will have uh, another two versions of testnet mm -hmm. in the uh, next few months. And then we will have our own mainnet. I see. Yes. Mm. So, so was that the roadmap? You just uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sort of, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yes. Uh, the roadmap. Um, firstly, is uh, the listing. Mm -hmm. As uh, you, you know, our project yes. already started for uh, about uh, one year. Uh, last May, we uh, uh, or earlier, uh, we we already started our own project, and in uh, last uh, October, mm -hmm. we finished our first round of fundraising. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, after uh, several months developing, and uh, we will go to the exchange tomorrow. Okay. Yes, yeah, go to tomorrow. Yeah, finally, <laughs> the bearish market very very difficult for 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 every uh, project in blockchain mm. world. And uh, then after after that, we will uh, try to uh, make drive into more big exchanges over the world. And we already have a lot of connections and uh, also a lot of. Exchanges have already invested in us, like uh, get the IO, they invested us, so we we will do an IO on their platform, and for like uh, I can uh, like Hobi ecosystem, uh, eco fund, they they invested us, like KuCoin, they invested us, like CoinW, a lot of exchanges that already invested us. So uh, we also have a lot of uh, resources over the world, like Australia, we have uh, more than two uh, collaborated uh, platforms that are already using our system, so we will. Um, in the roadmap, we will have a lot. Go to uh, go overwork and uh, and uh, go to uh, more and more exchanges, and we will deliver what we are doing and what we are develop, mm. like our our, our mainnet and our game SDK. And for now, what we are focusing focus is uh, in the game industry. So that's why we invite uh, Dan mm. as our uh, advisor to to we, we we build a game SDK now to. Uh, so in the next few months, we will uh, focus on it, and then we will, uh, from this point, to go to more uh, different uh, field mm, industry. Yeah. Mm. 
So since you guys are in Korea, I'm going to ask yeah. Daniel, <laughs> how do you like Korean market's prospect regarding games and blockchain? Oh, well, you know, I, like I said earlier, uh, Korea is, and was and is, is kind of the mecca of gaming, you know, uh, mm -hmm. from way back in the day, you know, StarCraft uh, to uh, League of Legends and you know, everyone's favorite uh, unkillable demon king faker and S uh, skt yeah, faker. <laughs> yeah um so you know i've been a huge fan and i always love coming to uh, seoul uh, and korea in general um you know i think gaming has always been uh, a pretty core part of korean culture um and what a lot of people like to enjoy in their uh, free time it's been a big passion for a lot of individuals um and i'd say that we're seeing that as well in regard to you know, blockchain uh, industry um, and so moving forward I think there's there's going to be a lot of opportunities here there's going to be a lot of uh, projects a lot of potential collaboration and especially since you know uh, Korea is already such a dominant gaming uh, mm -hmm. industry uh, force um, I think the two marry together very well um, and there's going to be some pretty interesting uh, news uh, uh, and uh, collaborations and uh, co-projects that you'll see between these two industries here in Korea. Mm, I see. Mm. What about you, Xiao Long? How would you evaluate Korean market? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I have been in Korea for many times since uh, I was working in uh, quantum, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and uh, almost uh, every time I come to uh, uh, Korea, it's about blockchain. Korean market is very, uh, very important uh, market over the world. So uh, because, uh, you know, in China, uh, Chinese government, they banned the exchanges and they, 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 they banned ICOs. Mm -hmm. So uh, in China, a lot of uh, stuff, uh, the blockchain uh, industry, uh, we, we cannot do. But in Korea, I think the government is more public, more public and more friendly to the, mm -hmm. to the, to the yeah, to, to blockchain. So, uh, and uh, in Korea, uh, the, 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 the the blockchain coverage, uh, coverage is more higher over. Uh, it's the most high, highest uh, area over the world. I mean, the the, the token holders or the the token uh, coverage is the highest over the world. So it's very important to us. And uh, uh, also, Korea have you know uh, many uh, very high volume exchanges like uh, Bisam, uh, Abit, and uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, it's very important to us. And uh, this time we will stay stay in Korea and uh, to have more. Uh, uh, opportunity to 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 yes to to corporate and to to talk with them. Yes, mm, so you're planning to enter the Korean market eventually. Yeah, uh, yes, of course. We already already uh, and we always are doing this. Yes, I see. Yeah. So that's all the questions we have prepared today. Mm. Thanks for the interview. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you so much for having Thank us. You. It's good to be here. Yeah, glad to be here. Thank you. 네, 지금까지 드레벨 시알롱스와 다니엘과 인터뷰 나눠봤습니다.